This is Twit. Microsoft says its new AI system diagnosed patients four times more accurately than human doctors. This doesn't surprise me uh, oh. because an AI remembers all the diagnostic traits. Well, it also will look at the things not. you're not looking at. Right. So uh, what Microsoft did, this is Mustafa Suleiman, the, uh, the guy, you know, they hired to uh, run their artificial to intelligence. To replace open so, AI. <laughs> right, right. Uh, they used 304 case studies from the New England Journal of Medicine. So these were existing case studies. Uh, a language model broke down each case into step into the step-by-step -step process a doctor would perform in order to reach a diagnosis. Then researchers built a system called the May Diagnostic Orchestrator that queried several leading AI models. So they didn't do just one. They did ChatGPT, Gemini, Claude, Meta's Llama, XAI's Grok in a way that they said basically mimics the way you would have a panel and you would work together with this panel of doctors to try to diagnose it. In the experiment, uh, May outperformed human doctors with an accuracy of 80% compared to the doctor's 20%. And it Which also reduced costs by 20% by choosing less expensive tests and procedures. So the interesting thing in here to me is the orchestration mechanism, the idea of having a, a panel of chatbots kind of confer. It is okay. interesting. I mean, it is, oh, this is incredibly promising. This could be a... Uh, groundbreaking and any sort of advancements like this of course are like um great but i, I have friends I suppose who are there are some caveats which is you know i'm just curious as to what like the patient sample size like the demographics of the patient pool were because and the we quality of the patient input often have well all like, this came from that new england journal of medicine yeah. so these were all kind of uh case studies so yeah, there was yeah. a certain uniformity in the information provided. And, oh, uh, I see. Okay. And they also knew what the right answer was because the it's case also study. It's also worth noting that um, uh, the one of the experts Wired spoke to, um, David Sontag, and a scientist at MIT, um, says that the Microsoft's findings should be treated with caution because doctors in the study were asked not to use any additional tools to help with their diagnosis, ah. which may not be a reflection of how they operate in real life. Probably doctors aren't just sitting in a room unable to look up anything or speak to anybody yeah, that's when they're right. coming to a diagnosis. But I've so always maybe thought that this was, a, a this was the closer. perfect marriage of AI and human doctors because human doctors are probably not the greatest some are but in general diagnosticians Dr. Doctor House a lot is of good doctors who like the idea of having a diagnostic tool a computerized diagnostic tool whether it's an AI or not because they have to remember there's a lot of stuff to memorize right and if you've been out of med school for a few years the information changes the information you forget some but doctors are more important for the hands-on interface the the, you know, interaction with the patient, asking the patient questions and so forth. It's also so, a problem with, with um, they think they think in their specialties. Right. So if it's outside of their specialty, and so this if this draws them out of that specialty and says, ah, uh, you might want to consider this whole different angle. Yeah, yeah. Hey, it's Leo Laporte. I hope you've enjoyed this little clip from our programming at twit.tv. For more, visit our website, twit.tv, or subscribe in your favorite podcast client. There's also a link somewhere down there. <laughs>